Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin Hugan, and I would like to review gallbladder disease with you. I'm a board certified general surgeon. I also have fellowship training in minimally invasive surgery or advanced laparoscopy at the Mayo Clinic. I would like to review the typical information with you that we go over during an office consultation for gallbladder disease. A gallbladder is a little sac that sits below your liver that helps you digest fatty foods. Bile is produced in the liver and secreted into the bile ducts, which then goes into the gallbladder as a storage facility. After you eat a meal, usually a large or fatty meal, the gallbladder will squeeze and help you give you a kick of bile to digest that food. If you remove a gallbladder, patients usually do not have any long-term consequences. The bile ducts typically will slightly enlarge to accommodate the lack of a gallbladder. Gallstones are typically small stones that form inside the lumen of the gallbladder. When gallstones are present, they stop the gallbladder from emptying correctly, and that causes pain. The typical symptoms that we see with gallstones include right upper quadrant pain. Sometimes it can be in the mid upper abdomen, typically after eating fatty meals or large meals. Another diagnosis known as biliary dyskinesia can present just like a patient with gallstones, but we don't have the gallstones proven on x-rays. This is another reason that we will often remove a gallbladder. Another indication would be polyps or growths inside the gallbladder. Gallbladder surgery is typically done through little incisions known as laparoscopic surgery. A laparoscopic removal of the gallbladder is called a laparoscopic cholecystectomy. We typically go in through little incisions and inflate the abdomen with gas so that we can see. We then place what are called trocars uh, into the incisions to perform the work we need to do to remove the gallbladder. The surgery is done with you asleep and it typically takes approximately 15 to 20 minutes to perform the surgery. After surgery, most patients will go home the same day, so you would need somebody to drive you home. After surgery, uh, the incisions hurt for a few days, up to a week, and you're usually back to normal by approximately two weeks. Most patients go back to work in about a week. We give you lifting restrictions, which lasts for about six weeks after surgery. And we have a separate video regarding post-op expectations and exercise limitations that I would encourage you to watch. All this information will also be reviewed with you with our office staff when you schedule the surgery. There are risks that go with surgery, as with any surgery. One of the risks is an open operation where we make a bigger incision to do the surgery. The risk of that is usually less than about 1%. The other risks of surgery would be the things like organ injury in the area that we're working, bleeding, or bile leaking from the work we do, or bile duct injury. The odds of those things is typically less than 1% after surgery. To perform the surgery, we typically will place small clips, which are titanium metal clips, on the cystic duct and artery, shown here, number one and number two, and then divide those structures and remove the gallbladder. This surgery typically takes about 20 minutes and you do go home the same day as we discussed earlier. The incisions uh, typically uh, will have glue with sutures that dissolve under the skin. The glue will dissolve in approximately two weeks and usually it just starts to flake off and peel off. You're allowed to take a shower after 24 hours from surgery. We prefer that you don't go underwater in a pool or a bathtub or the ocean for about two weeks after surgery. Most of the time for recovery, if you use pain and common sense as a guide, you won't damage your incisions. In other words, if you use pain as a guide, if something hurts, stay away from it. Typically that will prevent any kind of damage to your incisions. There are no special dietary changes after surgery. For the first couple days, we recommend a lighter diet. Then after that, you can really eat what you want to. People often ask, is there a permanent uh, low-fat diet that I need to go on after surgery? And the answer is no. There are no permanent dietary changes with having gallbladder surgery. We will give you a handout regarding exercise limitations after surgery, uh, but the general guideline is to avoid painful activities. I also like to avoid heavy lifting for approximately six weeks, and that would be anything over 40 to 50 pounds would be considered heavy lifting. 
Basically, if you avoid anything that makes you grunt or strain or use your abdominal muscles, then you won't cause any damage to our incision. What are the risks, benefits, and alternatives to surgery? Well, surgery is generally a low risk for gallbladder surgery. The risk of complications is typically less than 1%, and that would include things like open surgery, bleeding, infection, bile duct injury, or bile leaking from the work that we do. If this occurs, this may require more operations or procedures at a later date, but typically the odds of those things is less than 1%. So what are the alternatives to surgery? Well, typically if you're having pain from gallstones, we recommend surgery. Uh, typically the pain will continue to happen and it won't go away and it may actually cause an infection in your gallbladder requiring hospitalization. So if you have pain and gallstones, we usually recommend getting the gallbladder out before it becomes an emergency. I hope you enjoyed watching this video today. If you'd like to see more educational videos about our surgeries, please visit baysurgicalspecialist.com. We also have a live laparoscopic cholecystectomy narrated video, which is less than five minutes that you can watch. Uh, it's on our website as well, and it shows you exactly how we remove a gallbladder if you have an interest. I look forward to seeing you in the office. Please feel free to reach out to our office with any questions or concerns.